Well, the day has finally come. <laughs> we are doing the Beatles on the channel. Hi <laughs> guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with a Patreon request from Paul, our patron Paul. Thank you, Paul. You rock, brother. Uh, we're going to be listening to A Day in the Life by the Beatles off uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, um, which I have heard the title track of. Um, I think everybody has, but I have not heard any other song from this album, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I'm not really familiar with the Beatles. Ooh, yeah, I know, I know. Um, I, it's just, there's just so many bands. And I mean, like, I had a phase where I was like, I don't know, into Sublime and stuff like that, and that kind of music. And I think I might have heard one or two Beatles tracks when I was in that phase, but that's about it, you know. But I've heard that they are uh, some of the best of the best, and this is like one of the earliest forms of a concept album, apparently. And they, uh, I'm, I'm all for that. This is apparently the beginnings of progressive music too. So enough chitter chatter. If you guys don't subscribe, please help a brother out. Click the icon right down there. I'd really appreciate it. it takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free, and it uh, really ups channel up. We are literally like. 50 away from 8K. Thank you so much. Y'all rock so much. <laughs> you really do. You're you're literally my Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. Here we go. A Day in the Life by the Beatles. Three, two, one, go. That is one of the best album covers I've ever seen. This is Paul McCartney, right? In vocals. What? That sounded awesome. <laughs> That was crazy. What the fuck? That really tripped me off. Fell out of bed, trying to comb across my head. Found the way downstairs and drank a cup. And looking up, I noticed I was late. Found my coat and grabbed my hat. Made the bus in seconds flat. The atmosphere is just fantastic. Dude, 
Dude, Ringo Starr's killing it. I don't know if people... <laughs> everyone talks shit about him for some reason. So cool, I love that. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I just had like a life-changing vision just happen while listening to this song. <laughs> like, no fucking lie. <laughs> what the fuck? How have I been missing this? It's just how it ends. What the fuck? It just fades out for like 40 seconds? The balls on these guys. All right, so I literally, my phone died. <laughs> All right, Paul, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Did you do that one on purpose to mess with me? Damn, dude, that was insane. What the hell? Definitely shouldn't have hit the pen before that one. I was not ready for that. Yeah, Ringo Starr on the drums. That was great, dude. Some of those sections, as when he was drumming, like it was kind of, kind of changed from like the typical sound they were going for in that song. Like within the song, like the drumming kind of changed. It was crazy. Like the whole song kind of just changed. Like it just sort of like elevated and kind of like ascended there like at a couple points and then comes back down to earth you know and then da, 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 then it goes back up like what the hell man that was amazing it really was um john lennon uh so it's paul and john doing the vocals see and then george they see they all they all sing too no george doesn't sing i guess he does background vocals so basically back then all the bands like they all sang together. Whoa. Would you look at that? Well, now this video's fucked. What the hell? Thanks, son. Sorry about that, guys. Here, maybe if I do this. Is that a little better? Anyways, that was yeah, I definitely want to listen to this like album now because uh that literally blew my mind. Like that almost seemed something different than music. Like, I know I've said that about, like, Yes, I think, before. And maybe, like, one other band. But that was insane. <laughs> that literally was, like, a whole different form of music right there. I don't know. Like, I guess, like, this is when Acid and stuff was coming. So everyone was in the next dimension about stuff and, like, feeling all kinds of stuff like that. So I can fully get it, dude. Um, wow. Wow. I'm kind of like just awestruck right now. And then the sun is like completely illuminated this video. So it's kind of like a sign right there, I guess, man. I really enjoyed the vocal harmony. Like, I guess there really wasn't a vocal harmony, but like at some points there was. But whoever was doing the lead vocals, I don't know if it was John or Paul or who was, but it was great. The vocals were excellent. Yeah, but if you have any other tracks by the Beatles, man, leave them down because I'm definitely going to be doing more from them now. Like that was... That was incredible. Like, seriously, <laughs> that was really, really good. Um, yeah, I was not prepared for that. I thought I was just going to hear some, like, I don't know, 60s rock track. I don't know. I was not prepared for that. I'm still kind of, like, awestruck right now. <laughs> Thank you again, Paul. Um, yeah, if you guys want to do requests like Paul does, there's the Patreon right here. Ah, if you are in the $10 Super Patron tier up, you get one free request a month. Um, and if you're also in the $15 tiered up, you get one free video chat with me, uh, about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. We can chat about whatever, you know, whatever you want to don't matter to me. Um, and then, uh, 
If you don't like Patreon, there is a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and everything else. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah, Paul, you just sent that one to mess with me, bro. <laughs> that literally, I was not ready for that, dude. <laughs> and it's not even like it was the music in itself, man. Like, they just, they were on some stuff when they wrote this album. You can already tell, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.